Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with a no-bake sprinkles cheesecake recipe today. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and let's get started. You're going to need two boxes of Philadelphia cream cheese or any kind really. You're going to need some vanilla. You're going to need a can of sweetened condensed milk. You're going to need a graham cracker crust already crumbled in a bowl. Some Belvita soft baked cookies. I get the banana ones. They're my favorite. You're going to need four of them. Uh, you're basically going to crumble them up uh, and incorporate them to your graham cracker or your crust, your cheesecake crust. You're going to need some food coloring and a stick of butter. Actually, half a stick of butter. Um, use a spring form pan, of course, because it's easy to release the cheesecake once it's done. You're going to start off by crumbling up your Belvita uh, cookies and putting them in your food processor. Now we're going to combine the graham crackers from the graham cracker crust that I bought and I just basically just crumble it up and put it in a bowl and the Belvita cookies and melted butter. So you want to combine all three in order to make your cheesecake crust. Sorry if I'm going too fast, I just wanted to make this video to be pretty quick and not keep you on here too long. It's a really easy recipe um, since it's no bake. Okay, once you combine all three ingredients, you're going to kind of mix them all up and incorporate them. Make sure they're all incorporated together. You kind of want them to be a little bit of like a kind of like a sand, it almost feels like wet sand, like you're gonna make a sand castle. Okay, once you get it to that consistency, and if it's not, if it's too dry, too crumbly, you might wanna add some more butter, but half a stick worked for me. Then you wanna push it into your springform pan that you line with a sheet of par parchment paper. It just makes for super easy transport to put it on a plate or to move it around. So, you're going to spread the crumbs um, on your pan make sure and get all the corners push it down as flat as you can just to make a nice even surface and you guys I wish you could have smelt the crust it smells like bananas it's, it smells so good because of those Belvita crackers or the Belvita cookies if you haven't tried them you should try okay next you want to put your softened cream cheese and your condensed milk and your vanilla, like a teaspoon of vanilla, tables, yeah, teaspoon of vanilla, sorry. Put it in your blender or in your mixer and you should have a really nice whipped cons consistency. Now you're gonna put about a spoonful or a spatula full in, of each, um, in each cup of the mixture because you're going to use this mi these mixtures to color them in order to create that marbled kind of rainbow effect on your cheesecake so I like to use these styrofoam cups because they make for easy cleanup of course the less we have to wash the better right so as soon as I put the um, spatula full of cheesecake in each or cheesecake mixture in each cup I'm going to color each cup to be a different color so I'm gonna do pink purple green and blue and really, I only put about two or three um, drops of the food coloring in each cup. You can make it as dark or as light as you'd like. Obviously, the more you add, the darker and the more intense the color, color will be. But I just went with two or three drips of each of the, the colors. So once you incorporate the colors in your cheesecake mixture really, really well, it's going to take you a minute. Your hand will probably get tired. Um, you kind of want to just put them off to the side because you are going to fill up some plastic sandwich bags or piping bags, whatever you have. But usually I just take a sandwich bag, drape it over a glass cup, and that helps me fill up the cup with whatever I'm going to use to pipe anything. So I'm going to start off with the pink and I am going to put it in my plastic bag. Why not make sure and scrape up all the sides, use all the mixture, 
and it's really just a little bit it's not a lot that you're going to use and then with the bag you can all just scrape down the spoons too so you kind of want to make a little pouch like this you're going to kind of use it to make dollops on your cheesecake to make the marble effect so you want to go ahead and continue doing it with all the colors the blue the green the purple this is perfect for valentine's day um it's a good alternative to cake i always make cakes and cupcakes and stuff and i thought you know what i want to kind of make a cheesecake and i love that it's a no bake one so you don't have to put it in the oven or anything you can just put it in your fridge for a couple hours or overnight or for a week, a week ahead and you're all ready to go so and i love color and i love rainbow and marbling so i kind of just thought this would be a cool idea so once you have all your colors mixed up you will have all four little pouches or whatever colors you're going to use ready i'm going to set them aside for now and you are going to create your cheesecake so you want to bring out your your crust i actually had it in the fridge or in the freezer for about 20 minutes you're going to bring it out it's nice and firm and then you're going to add the rest of the cheesecake filling to the top of the crust. And you're going to basically smooth it over with your spatula until you hit every corner of the pan and of the crust. Um, it's pretty easy to spread. You just want to make sure you create a nice smooth surface. And I apologize for my lighting, but of course I decided to do this very late at night, so I only had one light. But once it's nice and smooth on the surface, it's going to look like this. And I've kind of just smoothed it out with the back of a spoon, so to create it nice and smooth like this. Now you're going to start by creating dollops of the colors in order to create the marble effect that you want. So you're going to snip the corner of each of the bags and you're basically going to create circles or dollops uh, of each color in a row. So I started with the pink and then I did four dots of the pink across. And then right under the pink, I went with another color and so on and so forth. You're kind of just going to marble them all together so it doesn't have to be perfect. Don't even worry about making mistakes or just spilling the colors over each other because you're going to mix them up anyway. So there's no right or wrong way to do this. But I kind of just thought it would make it easier if I would just line up my colors like this. So I continued with the green and then I ended up with the purple and then I took the back of my spoon and I kind of just smeared them all together like this. So it kind of makes a marble effect. Now you want to take a piece of parchment paper, you want to cut out a heart and as you can see, you can barely see, but I placed my heart in the middle of the cheesecake. So the cheesecake is still kind of wet. This is when you want to apply sprinkles to the negative part of the heart. So obviously the middle part is gonna be, have no sprinkles and the outside part will have all sorts of cool, funky sprinkles. And as you fill up your cheesecake with sprinkles, uh, you wanna kind of pat them down so they won't roll uh, into one side or another. So you kind of pat them down so they'll kind of adhere to the cheesecake once you freeze it. You're gonna put it in the freezer for about two hours after you've finished applying all your sprinkles. Um, this is gonna create a really, really cool shape, uh, obviously of a heart. Um, and then you are going to be able to heat it almost right away, I mean, two hours, but it's a really cool recipe because it doesn't take that long and you can make it way ahead. You can make any kind of shape you wanna cut out from the parchment paper. Um, and it's really, really yummy. It's creamy. The crust, as I said, tastes like banana. So I took this black uh, gel writer and then I kind of just outlined the cake into little with little dots. And then I wrote be mine in the middle of it just to be cute, you know. I took a sharp knife. I kind of loosened up the edges uh, on every side. 
Um, at this point, it's still frozen, but you want to open the latch of your spring form pan and kind of go through it with the knife one more time just to make sure nothing comes, you know, flying off with the side of the pan. And there you have it. There's your cheesecake. The parchment paper makes for easy mobility, so you can put it on your platter, peel it off. It's all good. I peeled off, I did peel off the um, paper of the heart, obviously, before I decorated it. So don't forget that. But yeah, it's a really, really cute um, dessert. And I just thought it was so pretty that I didn't even want to cut the middle of it. I cut the sides, as you can see. So anyway, thank you so much for watching.